you know, I struggle. I struggle. I struggle with poverty and I struggle with the social conditions of humanity. I struggle, I struggle, I struggle. And I struggle because I see it every single day. I walk the streets of Toronto. I see despair, I see homelessness. I see the burden. It's not. It's not easy. It's a. It's a real, 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 real uh, struggle. And you're gonna see it as I walk. It's really, 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 really. A struggle of hopelessness, of addiction, of um, any number of things. I mean, hello, how are you? So basically, this is this is it. I mean, you walk and this is. Yeah, how are you? I'm Selwyn. How are you doing? Good, good. This is what this this is look like. I mean, it's just. Hey, what's up? It's just nuts. What's up? What's up? I'm gonna walk. It's a struggle. Everywhere, it's a it's a struggle. I mean. What can I tell you? Good evening. Um, Why are you filming? Are you filming? I'm chatting on the phone. Is that okay? Sorry. I'm chatting with someone on the phone. Is that okay? What's up? Or fucking my head Okay. <laughs> but y'all see how the streets are pretty grimy and crazy. But that, those are the, that's the streets. See, I walk, I walk for a few more minutes. I walk for a few more minutes, and then you'll see. It's um, even worse. Good night. Most people with my social economic status would be scared to walk in these grimy neighborhoods, but I'm not. I think I was fortunate when I was younger to be able to get that education, to struggle to put myself to school and that sort of stuff. But if I didn't do that, I probably would have been like that too. These are, these were probably young men who made no provisions for middle age and old age. And so they've become old and the social, the social, uh, the social economic um, net doesn't really do much. I mean, I mean, if you're in social services in Toronto, it's about it's about seven hundred dollars, seven hundred dollars a month. Seven hundred dollars can't do much, and uh, so hi Marco, how are you? Hi Diane, hi Chris. Chris, are you in Toronto or are you in Guyana? Anyway, I'm taking a walk, and um, and as I take a walk, I'm kind of recording the scene. 
as I go along. Oh, you're in Brazil. Yeah, Brazil is not a place to be right now with the... Um, Brazil is not a place to be right now with their rates. Their rates... Their rates are off the chain. But uh, the thing about Toronto, right, is... Um, I didn't know this because... I just started doing um, the homeless encampment case. So I started doing that case in July. And I didn't know that a significant portion of the homeless population are black men. I didn't, I didn't know that at all. No Hi, how are you? No yeah. Hi, how are you doing? Yeah, so, I mean, you know, so you saw a lot of people there, they're all homeless men. Yeah, Brazil is crazy with the, Brazil is crazy with the, with the COVID rate. That's the Salvation Army Homeless Shelter. The Maximal Megan Center. Then you'll see a lot of uh, a lot of homeless people are now living in encampments. Hi BB, good night. Yeah, in Toronto the largest population of homelessness is among black men. They represent for the one uh, they represent for the one percent of the homeless population. And the city has a shelter to home program but black and they place uh, homeless people in respite centers and hotels. But uh, black men are the hardest to um, They're the hardest to uh, place. Uh, the stereotyping still goes on. The stereotyping that relates to uh, the stereotyping that relates to drug dealing and pimping. I cross-examined the city official last week, and. Um, I had to tackle that frontally with him. Those are the stereotypes. There's most, a lot of the homeless people as well has, um, they have uh, addiction issues and mental health issues. And um, uh, some people are sex workers, but it's like survival sex. So the, the, some, of the, some of the prostitutes simply have sex as a means of getting money when they run out of money. But you see, you see the camps? So all those are tents. All those are tents that homeless people are uh, sleeping in. And you'd be amazed that they're able to sleep in these tents because of my work. We filed an injunction. We filed an injunction against the city of Toronto, prohibiting them from removing these tents. See the tents? So these they call these encampments, and so there are about uh, there are about ten thousand people in Toronto living, about ten thousand people living in encampments. Yeah, so there are about 10,000 people that are, and um, 
there used to be more encampments in Moth Park, but um, but some people were offered homes and so on. So, like tonight, the encampments are clearer than there are not much more much encampments left. Like all here used to be encampments, and they're all gone, which means that either the city cleaned them up or offered them offer them homes. So you no longer see the encampments. But but everywhere you walk everywhere you walk along these trips are misery you know it's like every way you walk is misery I'm coming up and now I'm coming up among another pocket you know? so a pocket a pocket of uh, misery and you know it's like a it's like a drop-in center and so so addiction and uh, those sort of issues that's okay I, I see her I see her but but you see it's crazy. It's just. It's, it's not, hi, how are you? Sir? Yes, hi, how are you? <laughs> not right now. Just just hop on the TTC. They'll they'll give you a a a, a blind. Anyway, thanks for keeping my company. Y'all y'all kept my company a far way through on this walk. You know? But I did give you a sort of a sort of look at um, Toronto and it's not some parts of Toronto isn't as nice as um, some parts of Toronto isn't as nice as you would expect. I mean, we could walk a few more minutes. Actually, we'll do that. We'll walk a few more minutes and you'll see, you'll see the same thing on the next block. So, I can downtown Toronto, the misery, the misery is, is condensed and it's pronounced. So you'll, you'll, you'll see, you'll, you'll see it. You'll, you'll see it as we um, as we go along. It's it's crazy. But this is like really downtown Toronto. I'm on Queen Street West right now. I, I was on Dundas before. I was on Dundas Street West and then I walked, um, I walked uh, south on Sherbourne to Queen. And now I'm on Queen.
these are the street cars street car is pretty empty tonight as you can see McDonald's But this here is another another place where people kind of camp as you could see people are sleeping on the benches and so on you don't see any tents you don't really see tents here but you see people are actually living see if you zoom in you see people are actually living um, on the boundaries of the church So this kind of gives a flavor of a walk through downtown Toronto on Saturday night. Um, I'm actually heading into my office to catch up on some work. <laughs> 